Oh, wow. Ah, try it now. Did your tongue go off, is mm. it? Oh, you've got a really blue tongue. I knew you have. It's vegan free, is it? Uh, vegan. <laughs> <laughs> vegan friendly. No vegans allowed. Greetings and welcome back. It is actually our last full day in your amazing country. We've had such a good time. It's gone so fast. Today's video, we're going to be trying American snacks, candy, and some soda. We've not had these before. Cannot wait. I mean, as well, my sister actually got these Girl Scout Thin Mint Pretzels. You heard of that? Let us know in the comments below. Should we start with a drink? Oh, I don't know if I'm going to say this right. Synergy Raw Kombucha. Is that what it's called? Oh, wow. Let us know in the comments down below if this is something that you've tried before. Apparently Apparently, I think this is a bit of a, a health kick thing with probiotics. Do not shake. Oh. Swirl gently. Well, I never. Oh. It's gluten free, vegan free. It's vegan free, is it? Uh, vegan. <laughs> <laughs> vegan friendly. No vegans allowed. There are no vegans in this drink. Okay. Bottoms up. Okay. Poor. Yeah. It almost smells alcoholic. It doesn't actually taste as bad as it smells. I thought it was going to be vile. It's quite an acquired taste. I could drink this probably better than I could drink root beer and you might think I'm a bit strange. Let's try again. <laughs> yeah, that's not bad. I'm going to go with a 6 out of 10 for that one. Yeah, I'd probably go 6 out of 10. Considering it's like a healthy option, you know, it's quite refreshing. I'm sure you'll get used to the taste. What's next? Let's do these bad boys. Girl Scout Thin Mints. Now, I've done a video before on Girl Scout cookies. Oh my days, it smells so good. My mouth is dribbling. Oh, hello. Mmm. Let us know in the comments below what your favourite is. And have you heard of these? Obviously we've done thin mints before, but pretzels. Off to you, darling. Oh, I got a double. Oh, double. Mmm. Mm, yeah. Yep. That works. I like chocolate. I like mint. I love pretzels. These are good. Out of ten? Nine. I'm going to get eight and a half and a half. of our UK viewers, these taste a bit like After Eights. I'm not sure if you've got After Eights over here in the States, but that's what they remind me of. Obviously, they've got pretzels in them, so they're a bonus. My favourite should be Junior Mint. Stick the mint thing. Yep, yep, good thinking. And again, let us know if you've had any of these snacks in the comments below, and if you've got any favourites here, or any suggestions for more candy. Let us know in the comments below. And a couple? Mm-hmm. Thank you. Right. Ooh. Oh, wow. I wasn't expecting Smooth. them to be as creamy. No, creamy. Inside. I was expecting a bit more of a bite. They're really good. They're good, but I'm not sure I like the mint as much as I did the Girl Scout. I'm going to give 8 out of 10 for that. I'm probably going to do a 7 out of 10 for those. Do you want to wet your whistle with a drink? So what do you want to go for? We've got Arizona green tea. Oh no. Arizona sweet tea. And then we've got Gatorade. And make sure you stick around right to the end because we will be doing this last. I quite like sweet tea. You're not a massive fan of sweet tea, but this might be a game changer. Gatorade in Florida. You've got to have some Gatorade. I've never had Gatorade. Zero sugar. I'm guessing it's like a sports drink. Yes. Glacier Freeze. I think it's going to be a bit like mouthwash. Just because of the colour, I don't think it will be. And because it's called Glacier Freeze, usually like minty fresh. Stop talking and start drinking. Oh, I'll tell you what that reminds me of. It reminds me of an ice pole that we used to get when yeah. we were younger. I can't taste the flavour that much. I think maybe because of the mint that we've mm. just had. So maybe we'll try a bit more of that in a minute. Because all I can taste is mint. At the moment, out of 10, I'd probably give that a 6 out of 10, maybe 7. I'm going to go 4 because I just don't think it tastes very much. And I think that's probably because of the mint. So And it's got zero sugar as well. So maybe it's not quite yeah. as... Maybe we'll come back to that one, I think. Come on, Reese's. <laughs> I can see you playing. We've got to do Reese's. No, I thought we may have tried something similar. We were sent some Reese's Puffs from Lola. We were, but was it those? I don't think it was, though. I don't think it had the bigger bits in it. I'm not a massive Reese's fan, but if these were the same, I think this converted me and I ate loads mm. of those Reese's bars. Mm. Very similar, aren't they? I'm not sure if they are the same. But... I don't think they are the same. I think I preferred the other ones because they were mm -hmm. less peanut butter in. I'm going to go with an eight. 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 I'm going to echo that. Eight. Shall we stick with the nutty theme and go payday <laughs> peanut caramel bar? Now, I have had a payday before, but you haven't, have you? No, I don't think it's something I would buy because I think it's too many nuts and I do like nuts. Yeah, it's quite nutty, isn't it? I'm going to try a bit more of this, actually. I probably want more of the chocolate. There is a chocolate version, which is very nice. Okay, let's try this. That was squeaky on my teeth. Mm. I like these. It's like a Snickers without the chocolate. No, I quite like that. Mm. Nine. Eight. 
great as well for that. I'm getting into the peanuts. Yeah, you are getting into the peanuts. I'm going to have another sip of this. And then maybe go for these. Raisinets, is that how you pronounce it? So I'm assuming they're going to be just like chocolate raisins. I would have thought so, yeah. Maybe with whole fruit. Now, if you would like to support the channel even more, we do have a Patreon where we do a lot of behind the scenes, exclusive content, monthly Zooms with us, free merch, tier dependent. Just general lines of communication. You message us anytime. Well, I'm just going to have another sip of this. It's getting better because it's less minty, but I still feel it tastes a little bit weak. Maybe like a five or six. Needs more sugar. Right, raisinets. Mm. Mm. Wow. Oh. To be honest, they are just chocolate raisins. You're better than nice. I like chocolate raisins. Not sure I like chocolate taste on them though. Okay. Can I have a couple more? Push them. Well, who makes these? Ferrero Group. Oh, wow. Ferrero Rocher. Wow. And I think I've actually opened them up wrong because I think you opened them up here. Oh yeah. So, verdict? Nine. The oh, wow. The, the chocolate's grown on me. I do like chocolate raisins. I'm going to give them a seven. I did enjoy them. So, Milk Duds? Milk Duds. I'm pretty sure they were on Stranger Things. Oh, before. were they? Yeah. Oh. All right. Just chuck them everywhere. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is it caramel? Mm. And who makes these? Mm. <laughs> They're good, aren't they? Mm-hmm. This is my idea of a good chocolate. I'd like to go to the cinema and have those. Just watch the film, eat them, maybe some popcorn as well. I would just take these and eat them all now. Mm. Ten. Wow. I'm going to go nine. I have a winner. Okay, so Arizona green tea with ginseng and honey. Mmm. It's a big can. It's a nice can though, isn't it? It mm. looks pretty. I like green tea, but normally hot. I've never had a cold green, green tea. tea, but... I don't like the smell of green tea. It reminds me of, like, pond water. It needs ice. It always has come out of the refrigerator. I don't think you'll like it. It'll need ice. I mean, all of these will need ice. <laughs> it's a bit tea tasting for me, and I don't like tea. For me, I would say six out of ten. If it had ice, it'd probably be a seven out of ten. I know that's going to be something that I would think, oh, it's not too bad, and the more I drink it, the worse it would make me feel, and that's no disrespect to tea. I just don't get on with tea. It makes me gag. So, for me, that's probably going to have to be like two. Oh, wowza. Sorry. No, that's fine. I'm looking forward to these bad boys. Let's go for a huge bar, though, before that melts. So, apparently, this is milk chocolate English toffee bar. Oh, wow. Made by Hershey again. If you do like like this kind of content let us know by liking this video sharing it out with your friends and if you haven't already please consider subscribing to our channel as we delve into all things america and eat our way through the states i'm going to drop a little link in the pinned comments because we had a chat about heath bars over on discord people said i should buy them and then a lot of people said they weren't very nice oh so, so it's created a bit of a debate let us know in the comments below do you like oh. heath bars or not okay wasn't expecting that the texture or mm -hmm. oh wow Oh. Neither were you. No. Yeah. Um, it's got almonds in it. Is it almonds in it as well? Maybe not. Oh no, almond. It's like a diamond bar. Mm, quite hard but breaks and soft and slow. I quite like that. I don't actually like almonds, but I'm going to give that a seven. Solid seven. I'm going to go eight for that. Mm. Yeah, I always used to like diamond bars. Yeah, that's good. Can you see how Mr H has put that over his side because he clearly likes that one, <laughs> which is fine. Now these, I've not seen before, munchies sandwich crackers, peanut butter, peanut butter filling on golden toast crackers. I've not had these, not seen these in the UK either, or actually anything like these. No, I haven't. Where crackers are concerned in the UK, it tends to be with some kind of cheese. Oh wow. I think you can get different fillings as well for these. Mmm, mm, wow. Mm. For me it works. Yeah. Mm. yeah, that works. The initial taste was not really very impressive, but mm. it's got a nice aftertaste. Mm. I think as you mush it all together. Yeah, it comes through really well. Mm. For me, I'm going to go seven out of ten. I think they'd be quite moreish. I'm going to go seven as well. Mm, cool. Okay, so we're going to go airheads. Make sure you stick around right to the end because we do have a tub of recent ice cream. <laughs> Shall we go with grape? Because yeah, I think so, because we don't really have much grape no, stuff, do we? we don't have hardly anything grape flavoured over in the UK, apart from wine. I know that you get a lot of grape flavoured things over here, so should we try this airhead yep. first? Now, do you want me to open it? Yeah. I'm not sure what to expect out of this. I think it's going to be chewy, do you? Yeah. Oh, it's very purple. Oh, wow. Oh, I can, uh, I can smell that grape flavour. That kicks you straight away. Mmm, a bit of a sugar overload there. I like it. I like it. I like chewy things as well. Can I try a different flavour before I give a verdict? What flavour do you want? Orange, um, sherry, white, white mystery. mystery, watermelon, blue raspberry. Blue raspberry. That's the one I would have gone for. Oh my gosh, look how blue it is. Wow. Let us know in the comments below what your favourite airhead is uh, and what's the white mystery all about. Not tastes like bubblegum, not blue raspberry to me. Mm, I like them. Very sweet. We're going to go again for a seven. I'm not sure if I like the Greek flavour, but I like the texture and I like how it does pack 
punch and it's got a lot of taste to it initially, but I'm not sure if I like the grape flavour. I'm going to go eight out of ten for them. I think they're very, very moorish, but I think I'll probably eat loads and then crash. Health myself up. Health yourself. Level up my health. Oh, wow. That's, ah! I'll try it now. Did your tongue go off, is mm. it? Oh, you've got a really blue tongue. Only you have. Right, these are a bit like laces, aren't they? Sour punch. I'm excited about these because mm. I like sour. What colour are you going for? Blue again? Mm, sour. Mm, wow, sir. that is a sour punch. Oh, you get it right back here in between your teeth, don't you? Well, I like them. Mm -mm. The green one's more sour. I like them as well. Mm, I like them. I'm going to give them a 9 out of 10. Sour punch from Mr. H, 9 out of 10. Mrs. H? They're not quite milk duds. Even none and a half. Oh, wow. Right. Do you like the sour? I'm really looking forward to these. I really like the, the hot Cheetos as well. So I'm guessing these might be similar. I don't quite know. They look dangerous. They do look dangerous. And we did a video reacting to Jolly, and I think it was some school kids, and they had tackies in that video. Hot chilli, pepper and lime. Right. Extreme. Extreme. Wow. Shall I go for it? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, oh, bloody hell, they're hot. Do I want to try them? They are, wow, they're hotter than the Cheetos. I've still got stuff stuck to my teeth. Bloody hell, they are hot. I feel like I'm psyching myself up for this. I do like spicy, but I'm not sure about spicy tackies. Okay. Oh, that burns my tongue. Definitely hotter than the Cheetos. It's a different kind of flavour. It's got to be the spiciest thing I've had in the US. It's hit from the back of the throat now. I don't think you can eat a whole bag of these. For me, it's my tongue's burning. The back of my throat's fine, but my tongue. But whatever's in them, I think it's just disintegrated every single little bit of airhead and sour punch things that I had left in my mouth. Mm. <sighs> bit of a palate cleanser, that. I'm tempted to try another one. Yeah, try another one. For me, they're quite hot. I'd probably go seven out of ten. I prefer the Cheetos, but my tongue's burning. Okay. Yeah, it's burning my tongue more now. People actually eat these for enjoyment. Let us know in the comments below, have you eaten a whole pack of these on your own? I don't think I could do it. My nose is running. <laughs> That's really hot. I'm going to go 7 out of 10. I like the texture of those, but I don't actually like the taste of, of them. I think whereas the Cheetos have got a bit more of a tomato base, got a nicer taste to me. So I would say maybe a 5. And you know what's going to be the best thing to have after Takis? Reese's ice cream out now. This will be my first time trying Reese's ice cream. I love Reese's. I will be back with some Reese's chocolate ice cream cream right so i'm back with the reese's chocolate ice cream i got a glass chocker full with ice i'm gonna pour this out and let it get cold okay right here we go i gotta admit my nose is starting to run now after those tackies <laughs> they were hot weren't they these tackies yeah. so it looks like there's chunks of stuff in it yeah okay ready Nice on my tongue. It is very cold. I'll go for a little bit more. Oh, yeah. I like ice cream. That's what I'm talking about. That's really nice. Loads of people said in the past, you've got to try Reese's ice cream. So now we've finally done it. I'm going to go 9 out of 10 for that. It's like a Reese's big cup, but with ice cream. I was going to go 10, then I had a bit more chocolate. I don't know if I'm a 9 now. Okay. I downgraded it slightly. Might be better without the chocolate chunk. I'm going to go 9 as well. Last, but certainly not least, Arizona sweet tea, Southern style. Let us know in the comments below if you've had this before. And also, as always, your comments are most welcome. Do you agree with our scores? Let us know in the comments below. And if we do give low marks, it's certainly no disrespect. It's just our taste. And we're all different. You drink, I'll give you my thoughts. Okay, taste tea ish. <laughs> so, those of you who don't know, Mrs. H doesn't like tea, do you? No. For me, quite refreshing. But if I'm being honest, it could do with more sugar. This is the reason I don't like tea. I'm a coffee drinker. Tea to me tastes weak, and this is not full bodied enough if you can describe a tea like that. Try it from the can. It's a little bit sweeter. So, I'm wondering if the ice has watered it down a little bit. Or does it taste the same? No, it tastes slightly better like the can with a bit less ice. Mm. It tastes a little bit stronger. Mm -hmm. So, I'd prefer it like this, but the only problem is it tastes more like tea. Uh, I'll give this a three, but don't oh, make wow. me drink it. Um, I'll probably go about six out of ten for that. And all that leaves us to say is... Take care. God bless. And see y'all back in England.